Pavana, start with the introduction first. Tell me about yourself. Uh, thank you, Alarna, for giving me an opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Kokira Labino. I belong to Palnado district, the land of historical heritage and has a lot of culture behind it. And it occupies an important place in Andhra Pradesh state history. And I have done my schooling from Basham High School and intermediate from Sri Chaitanya Junior College. Currently, I pursuing my bachelor's in technology in computer science at IIIT Jabalpur. During my academics, I have done my projects on weather prediction and Parkinson test reduction. And I have participated in Jagriti and NSS club to improve my communication skills and working ability. And I worked as a front-end developer at WeGrow from May to June in 2023 only. And my strengths are uh, I'm easily adaptable to new environment, sincere, patient, and I have strong commitment to work. And my hobbies are uh, doing exercise and listening songs. What are your hobbies? Uh, doing exercise and uh, listening songs. Uh, Abhinav, Abhi, can you just tell me which year did you pass out your B.Tech? 2024. Uh, 2024 August. You're going to pass, right? I'm going to pass. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So right now, currently, you're in the third year. Uh, uh, not, ma'am. I'm in fourth year, first semester. Uh, oh, my first semester was completed. I want to do the second semester. So what about the placement cell that has taken place already? Placement opportunities in your college? Uh, the placement opportunities are going well, ma'am. But uh, when compared to the previous so placements are now placements. There are some less companies are coming to our campus because of the recession is in high. So that's why the companies so, are not coming. Abhinav, can you tell me like uh, why you are not going for the placement opportunities, or are you sitting over there and you have taken one? Uh, ma'am, actually, HPL is in campus drive. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm going for placement also. Okay. So, and uh, I want to try for a public sector undertaking company also. When the HCL work came, I want uh, I want to know about the HBCL and uh, working in the public sector undertaking company means how was our life. So that I I very interested to apply for HBCL. Why PSCs? Yes, ma'am. Why the reason behind it? Uh, ma'am, the the reason to, to motivate me to apply for the HBCL is. Uh, HPCL is a very good job and it is far better than many other jobs. And when we are the employee at the HPCL, when we are directly involved in the growth of the nation because it is under the government and it motivates me a lot and as well as so it has a good social status and you a respectable job in the society. So this motivated me to apply for HPCL. There are a number of PSUs, not even HPCL. They will provide you good social status, good social prestige. And the kind of you are saying me that uh, everything is good over there. So that is even other PSUs also. Why particularly HPCL you are going for them? Um, Number of PSUs are there. You can work in any domain. And even if the oil sector is related, you can go for any. Tell me the reason. Ma'am, the reason is uh, the HPCL is not only in the oil sector, it is in energy sector. And most of the renewable energy resources also developing nowadays. And uh, they want the CSP students also for uh, PSUs because nowadays uh, we are transforming the everything into the digital technologies. So that's why there is a need of the computer science and engineering students also in uh, any PSUs. So I'm interested about the HPCL because uh, it is a great company and it, it will provide a, a good opportunity to grow in HPCL. So that. Abhinav, you just quoted a line that you want to work for a nation, you want to contribute towards that, right? So by now, how you have contributed towards the nation or anything you have done for the welfare of the community or nation? Ma'am, as as my studying the BTEC, I was participated in uh, NSS. It mostly by spending a time with NSS, I have actively participated in the campaign, like a cleaning plant and planting the trees, and very well. So, and we are sometimes cleaning the villages also. And it gives me a lot of encourage to serve to the nation. Okay. So, you know, like even in being in the private sector, you can have lots of exposure. You can have the same thing which you are so lurking for, right? So, I didn't understand. Can you just compare for me? Like being the youth of the country, you should be inclined towards the privatization culture also. India is promoting that. So, can you just compare private versus PSU for me? Uh, Ma'am, whether in the private sector, we have to sit for the most of the time in the privatization only. And we want to develop, and we are involving the developing of the company. But here in the whether in the PSUs, we are going to develop 
मतलब विद इन द ग्रोथ ऑफ द इकोनॉमी एंड बोथ आर द वर्क सेम बट द वर्किंग स्टेटस इज नॉट सेम ओके अभी नाउ टेल मी थ्री गुड ट्रेड्स इन यू सॉरी मैम टेल मी थ्री गुड ट्रेड्स इन यू आई हैव स्ट्रांग कमिटमेंट टू वर्क एंड आई एम अ वर्क कॉलेक एज वेल एज आई आई विल सिंग सॉन्ग देयर नॉट इवन थ्री यू गुड नॉट टेल थ्री गुड ट्रेड्स टुगेदर इन यू ओके fine abhinav uh, you are just an ex- you are going to be pass out next year right you are still a fresher can you just tell me how being a fresher you are better than experienced candidate for me because being an experienced candidate you will be coming with a good training i don't i have to invest a lot of training sectors in you to convince me for that uh, ma'am for any employee they have the such a trait he should want to passionate about this work he want to dedicate for his work and have the and should have the most strong commitment about his work and the and have the lot of patience also and uh, based on my past academic to background i will can, i can say that i am an ever average of all these traits which i mentioned previous so this is uh, good for me to be in part of the hpcl can you tell me any of the recent project in hpcl which is being uh, gone through and you are very infatuated with that ma'am the recent project was uh, going with the hpcl is a project parikal that is to transform the digitalization technology and have the infrastructure of the cloud and uh, customer supportness etc abita when was uh, hpcl take uh, given the maharatna status uh ma'am it, it actually started in 1954 with a different name at the time of the 1970s uh, it got the maharashtra again how is hpcl patrol from different from the iocl or alliance one Ma'am, HPCL is is funded by the government mostly, but whereas the Reliance and the uh, other companies are are not much more are funded by the uh, government. There was the privatized company, and the advantage in the HPCL is they are directly dealing with the people, whereas the Reliance and the other private companies are are mostly exporting their their valuable products to other countries to gain profit. Okay, whereas the HPCL. Talk about IOCL. IOCL versus HPCL. Both comes as a PSU. Both as a Maharatna. IOCL has done tremendously well in the sector. How will you differentiate, distinguish between these two? Ma'am, both IOCL and HPCL are the part of the central government. They are comes under the Ministry of Petrol Foreign, and the both will do the growth for the nation. And both the products are in the internal only, and both are participated equally in the uh, economic growth of the nation. Abhin, the last question. Convince me that you are the best option than all the candidates who have applied for this interview. Ma'am, my warm personality and being a humble is the one of the advantages for me to be being a fresher candidate who has a little bit of experience, and as well as I am a good person. Whether uh, when I I was keeping short term goals to achieve the long term this easily, and as well as uh, I I have a good pace. sense of work and a strong commitment of work is very uh, another advantage for me as being a perfectionist so i am also unable to crack the any services and uh, i am able to do the work more than an average hours also i mean i've seen the kind of questions which i asked you i think we are interacting for the very first time in hr right first you have to do is that whatever the questions i asked you come prepared with these questions because even if i ask you that why you want to join hpcl or any organization don't only say it's about nation it's about social prestige it's about um, uh, being in a good run or being good show in the society that's not the case that's not should be the case you should talk about some kind of a project some kind of a innovation which hpcl is running some kind of products which you got fascinated because that is a kind of a thing which is going to separate it from the other psu and you're not talking anywhere about it right did you didn't mention a single line anywhere about it if i asked you three good traits you should be very comfortable mentioning three things about you that's about your strength only the indirect way of asking you and you were like a uh, second and third also it was approximately the same of the first you should have a sophisticated answer first is mom i think i can be a good uh, learner the learn of being a good learner is a very important part in an organization second i'm a very flexible adaptable person wherever uh, i have to be be it is a transferable job be i have to shift it somewhere i'm looking for a passion and i will work anywhere so i'm a very adaptable person in any culture or any organization 
last but not the least i think i can work as a good leader i can lead a team because i've been into multiple yeah. projects and i've handled the projects like a key and from there also you get questions if it can be i'm a good orator i'm a team manager i'm a trustworthy candidate something like that you could answer so there are some you know like the lacunas are there you have to fill the gaps by giving one or the best chances for all these by psu's contribution towards the nation because if you will keep on saying i want to contribute towards the nation i want to contribute how have you contributed since last 20 years uh, in the nation there will be nothing a good answer from your side right so if you want to contribute it's not only you have to be joining a government organization being in a private or you can call it out now you can talk about the famous personality ratan tata he has um, employed several people and he's working for the nation also though he's working as a private this one so that's not a you have to fill all these lacunas one by one clear so fill it out i whatever the questions i asked you some of the projects convince me why are the best these things which whatever the questions i asked you prepare it once then do an hr again okay because i want a refined answers from you then i'll go for the more questions these are just a benchmark like you can say very simple questions which i asked you next time some difficult from the things you are mentioning and you have to get ready for it okay where are you saying looking for the next 15 years for yourself why you want to join this particular organization where i can see yourself uh, you uh, like uh, imagine you are the first year last year of the some all these questions could be there so think it very appropriately brainstorm yourself come prepared do an hr again maybe tomorrow day after tomorrow okay But okay. just come prepared with set of questions. Clear? Okay. okay ma'am. Any doubts, Abhinav? Ah, uh, ma'am. Actually, the history that is a campus recruitment my for my. So that's why. Sorry, sorry. Ah, uh, history that is came for our campus. I I was shortlisted. That I understood. I understood. I'm just giving you some of the benchmarks, like why it is experienced, why it is like PSU, why you were not going for any other job opportunity. They are the best answer will be. the projects the kind of projects the kind of innovation the kind of growth which hpcl is progressing and what are the things it's going to run in the future that is giving me a kind of you can say that i also can be in that work culture to talk about the work culture all the pointers they were okay but you can give a better answer that is what i'm telling you okay, okay. it's not about that you cannot give these answers but what is the purpose what is that we need to give some refined answers that's what i'm guiding you from okay so talk about projects why you're the best in others that is very simple question why you think that you are other good than others okay why this you can call about why not other organization why our organization very simple question we can ask you about it okay so these are very simple right question they are not tough questions if you think about it in a later but the answers need to be beautified in a good way okay prepare nicely